Welcome everyone to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and today we are beginning our journey as the Texan Brotherhood. Now, I've not played as the Texan Brotherhood on this channel yet, but here we are. And actually, when the Monsters of the East update came out, I originally wanted to play as them, but... Oh well. But regardless, uh, we're playing uh, on Historical, and we're using the mods Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, as well as Planet of the Peace Conferences, and the CH Central Tool mod, just in case we need it. Which means, it needs to go bye-bye, but let's begin with the focus, shall we? <clears throat> the Long March West. The Attis Army's flight to Texas brought the Texan Brotherhood to bear against them. Split from the Western Brotherhood, High Elder Rhombus led a contingent of men west in pursuit of Attis' goon goons, I should say. Goons. Uh, the Houston Rockets. Oh, at one point they actually had a unique focus tree, but it was removed. Uh, but the chase... The Texas Brotherhood truly began when the news reached them of the rise of Addis and his army, a splinter group of super mutants, heck bent on carrying the legacy of the Master. Alarm! Elements of the Brotherhood split off and began a long, grueling chase with only the with the only purpose of eradicating them before they could carry on whatever horrible scheme they had in mind. Rhombus, the leader of the expedition, had to assemble his forces for over for the arduous path ahead, and so he gathered a detachment of knights, more speed, maximum command power, and daily command power gain. Took the families of the soldiers with them. Everyone gets more manpower. Took a balanced retinue. Not bad. As was traveled with but a few paladin veterans. Acclimatization is not bad. That's actually kind of cool. So you get even more special forces and minimum capacity, which is something we could use right now. I like all of these. And now, command power I usually don't choose, but we actually do have combat simulators, which could be pretty good for us to get more army XP. The naval XP and air XP, but balanced retinue. Currently, we have a quarter million population. Is that enough? Not really sure. Every this one's okay. It's not really great. I don't mind that one, but well, let, let's be balanced. It's always good to have a little bit of balance in your life, right? Always ready, always there. A difficult situation awaited them upon reaching Texas. Approached by remnants of the old National Guard looking for a safe haven for themselves and the families, Rhombus was forced to decide how to best use their talents for the Brotherhood's cause. And with the National Spirit's Lone Star Economic Advisors, we have a military heritage, as well as we're balanced, and of course the Texan Economic Union, but. Meeting the Texan National Guard. On his travels throughout the lands, Rhombus and its detachment kept growing in size. Tales of his heroic quest and the possibility to of an end to the super mutant menace had rallied many to his cause as his expedition marched. Now in Texas, he and his forces encountered the remnants of the National Guard, learning of his goal. They asked to join him to help put an end to Addis's madness. Rhombus knew this group or his group was already wary of newcomers and wouldn't accept them easily. He decided to ex absorb them as a part of the military. Give them the rank of knight and assign them to maintenance. Not bad. I like those arms workshops. We lose more stability anyway, so. Accept them as civilians under his oversight. We get more civvies, and right now, we could use a few more. Reject them, casting them into the, out in the wasteland. Ooh. We do get some more stability, but. Mm, mm. Immediate civvies or army XP. Ooh. Right now, honestly, like, we're looking pretty good on our resources, or at least, you know building stuff, so let's go with cities. Except them as civilians, we shall. One ranger, one ride, members of the elite Texan rangers were the next group to approach the expedition. Runners, formidable expertise, played a key role in the preparing the Brotherhood for the upcoming conflict, of course. And we currently get 1.23 political power every day, and we're led by Mr. Rusk. He's a popular figurehead. A stagnant politician, though, has a military background and a stout defender. If you'd like to read about corruption in Dallas, please go right ahead, but that sucks. Runner, ghoul ranger. The Brotherhood Expedition encountered a most peculiar group once they arrived in Texas, and settled down in preparation for the battle ahead. A group of so-called Texas Rangers met them, led by a ghoul himself calling, called Ledrock Runner. Ledrock presented himself as the only remaining descendant of the pre-war Texas Rangers, trying to keep peace throughout the land, and he was appalled at what Addis had wrought upon his jurisdiction. He wanted to join the expedition and put the mutants six feet under. Of course, Rhombus accepted his proposition. Ah, we love the Texas Rangers. Beautiful. And the wake of a giant. Grievously wounded into the conclusion of his campaign, Rhombus, his life, hung on a razor's edge. And look at this. Voluntary deputization. Oh, boy. Justify Rogo sense as it goes up. Boy, high, but the fate. The battle that followed the expedition finally catching up to Addis' army was truly legendary, to the point that wild tales are still spun to this day about what actually happened. Many talks of huge confrontations pitting the mightiest of the Brotherhood's paladins against behemoths in single combat, thousands of knights inflicting righteous fury upon the cowardly mutants, and shattering their will for decades to come, but of all tales, the wildest are of what happened to Rhombus on that day. The truth is, thankfully he bought a farm on which he spends his retirement. Oh, we can send some volunteer forces, and more max volunteer force divisions, or sadly he bought the farm during the battle. 
Morning Survivors. Um, I kind of like that one. We want to be victorious. Will this hurt us later on? We have been just betrayed. Also, we, I'll let you know. I didn't say it already. We are on historical, so it is what it is. Hopefully, we don't get betrayed. Texas for Rusk. The forklifts taken. And it doesn't look like it's really going to affect us. I kind of like consumer goods. But I almost never go this one. Let's go. I want to be victorious. How about we, let's become a victorious. Uh, workshop, workshop, doctrinal thoughts. Brotherhood guns, brotherhood expansion. Not bad. New vehicles, new tactics. Eh, blueprints are not bad. Journey's conclusion. Evaluate the codex. Rule for Rus Rusk for Texas. Well, it doesn't look like we can do much. But I feel like I want to take Texas for Rusk. So if you want to read about these, please go right ahead. So... Actually, we can get that one anyways. Uh, actually... No, we can't. We can't get this one. That's fine. Texas for Rusk. Rusk is right. What the wasteland need isn't another common army man oppressing. Or become another common army oppressing a citizen and focusing more on waging war than on ensuring peace. Our oath was, and still to this day, to enact the law and protect our citizen against the harsh conditions they must endure daily. We cannot abandon this crucial task lest we forget our pledge. Cool. Oh, look at that. Victorious heroes. Ah, I love being victorious, but we still want to beat people up. So, with, with the Texan Brotherhood, I actually, like I said earlier, I tried them once. It was a long time ago, though. But it was interesting because they have basically light patrols, which in my mind are just like militia divisions. They're 1.5 combat width. They're not two, but they're 1.5. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go and start. I'm going to do oh, refined warfare. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go conventional warfare and get the radios and the uh, mobile fortifications and then come back to refined. So don't worry about the other tech. I don't really care. Um, but they have these weird light patrols which are just slightly better militia divisions so they have their use 24 suppression versus a heavy patrol which is the exact same combat width actually suppression here is six so they're really good for suppression so yeah that's very very weird oh look provisions for protections oh wow that's god awful wow and we i guess we believe in freedom of press oh well the General stirs. Santa Anne has slumbered south of the Rio Grande since he has helped drive off the Legion incursion ten years ago. But for some reason, he has begun to stir. Cons conscripts in the steel legions of the General have been excited on the river's southern banks, and press gangs have been stockpiling food and fuel. Time will tell what he's up to. This is moderately concerning. So we gotta wait for the Lone Star Nation to do what they're gonna do, because <clears throat> I've never played as... Oh, I've played them once, but I need to play them again sometime. We get radio and decimetric... Oh, I love radio. I love radio. Brother Expeditions live from Dallas. Uh, I kind of want to do that one too. Uh, Rusk for Texas, a protector of Texas. That's not bad. Deputy training, huh? Factories in Dallas. I kind of want radar though. Establishing listening posts and matters of war reconnaissance is one of the most essential aspects. Lack of intel can make or break any operations, as it's, it is it is capital to our efforts that we gain set intel rapidly. The establishment of radar equipped listening posts, manned by trained specialists, will let us do just that. Very nice. Uh, let's see. So we're going to do our land auction already. And actually, let's go to this. We have scout kits. We need. We have strip power armor, but we actually have vault tech PA, which interesting power armor. Oh, well, that's different. Simple huh? power armor support. Let's see. Their armor is what twenty four, while strip PA is twenty, while scavenge PA is no different. Okay. Uh, this was 30. Oh, no, it's 25. Actually, that's actually better than what we currently have. That's alright. Let's grab some crowd control. That'd be good. Um, go ahead and train if we need it. Oh, I guess we don't need to train it. We, we're pretty experienced. Charles Biggins, we're going to go with pain train. Ah, oh, I love the pain train. Now, we do have special forces here. I'm not really sure if they're worth using in this campaign just because power armor. I'm a simp for power armor. Oh, I'll say it. I'll be honest with you guys. I like power armor a bit too much, probably. But that's okay. Maybe. Wow, that's a 40-day focus. This feels like a long time. Bow got arms all done. It's not too bad. All right, let's grab what? Planes, gliders, yes. Do we have anything special here? No, we do not. That sucks. That kind of sucks, not going to lie. But just keep building, and we'll do okay. Because I have a feeling, <clears throat> as much as Nixon Town, is that named after Millhouse? Richard Millhouse Nixon? Hmm. I have a good feeling we're going to be losing the Alamo eventually. Just, I don't know why, but it's a, it's a good feeling. We're probably not going to be able to keep it. What do we have for ministers, actually? Ghoul Ranger? Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. More daily compliance, less damage to garrisons, less resistance targets. My goodness. That's a lot more recovery rate. Wow. I kind of want to see what we can do with Live from Dallas. 
Uh, forge the deal. Let's see, live from Dallas. Who doesn't love a good show? Or approach Mr. Entertainment for a networking deal with any luck, camaraderie, and common appreciation for good TV will seal the deal. And just in case he doesn't want to seal the deal, we have ways of making him talk. Inspirational. Yep, gotta go with that one. And we have nothing else there, so that's fine. And who else do we have? Arm Reformer. I want more PP. How do we get more PP? Infrastructure construction speed. Um, waste not, want not. Okay, not bad. Political master. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I've got to go that way, right? Always true. Knight swallows. Does he swallow well? So, that usually plus 10% usually results in like 0. 0.2, really. There you go. Not bad. That's not too bad. And he gives us cheaper costs of everything, so... Improved relations maintain costs doesn't really matter. Economy laws, trade laws, conscription laws, not too bad though. And Lone Star is actually going to go explode if I do remember correctly, so we'll see what happens with them. Brotherhood guns are not too bad. Forge the deal. Oh, art of the deal, huh? I guess we could do that one maybe. Mm, I do want some more factories though. But make contact with the two pads. The two pads are our most peculiar group. It seems all they care about is spreading their broadcast and bringing entertainment to the people of Texas. We've already encountered this. Mr. Entertainment and talked at length about what it would take to bring them to our cause. A protection treaty, access to our industry, and exclusive broadcasting rights should be more than enough to swear allegiance after all. Why would they ever refuse? Send the offer to the Texas special. Naturally, the two pads have seen the generous broadcasting contract as agreeable and have signed it. Now with them on our side, we can have our citizens get access to their, let's be honest, quite interesting show. Hopefully, this is the start of a Texan TV and entertainment industry. Absolutely wonderful. They become a puppet. I love it. <clears throat> oh, Desperados. Ooh. I want to go to war as fast as possible. Ooh. Forge the deal. We'll draft the Telecommunications Act, hopefully allowing Mr. Entertainment free passage and access to all Texan Economic Union lands, along with our protection. In exchange, we'll receive electronic equipment and tell in a positive limelight in the show. What's not to love? So yeah, these guys, I don't know if it, oh, every time I see Waco, I get a little sad inside. But anyways, um, <clears throat> mm, government, anyways, uh, what do we want here? Oh, we already had this done. Oh, actually, that, that'll that be worth going down, because I, I want power armor. So I don't see the point of using these guys right now, as much as I love, like, these lawbringers, lawkeeper pl platoons look awesome, and they're, they all are armed with double barrel shotguns. Um, that is just, that is nice, that is awesome. I think I want to go with heavy patrols. We get, we actually get more manpower, look at that. And we do have some motorized, let me know in the comments below, should we use motorized in this campaign? Motorized, I understand why they're here, mm, I don't know, I'll leave it up to you guys really to decide for, for this campaign, should we use motorized or not, because I want to use the normal infantry, I want to not use special forces, I want to use power armor, so let me know in the uh, L commentos below. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some more stability, hopefully soonish, once we get 79%, we're going to go, like, maxed out as fast as we can. Very cool. I love planes. Look at that population. Not bad. So, for now, we'll just leave, leave it on one. Crowd control is important. Traders from Southern Empires, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. Uh, actually, I'm not going to believe in this one for this campaign, so goodbye. Um, we're going to get a lot more of this. You can go do that. Do that, too. Go on first. Uh, it, this happens every campaign, like I said. If you want to do this, read this, please go right ahead. Agriculture. Ah, let's to become an expert negotiator. Ah, send in the negotiator. Look at that stability, not bad. So actually, I want to get whatever gave us 5% more stability, so then we can do the other events or the decisions that give us more weekly stability, so that'll be good for us. Um, where is it? Anything here? No, there's no more stability. Okay, we're not going to become any more stable. Oh, that sucks. Wow. Five, 35% research bonuses for... Wow. We need to finish doctrinal thoughts first, but... That's a bit insane. Okay. I, I don't feel bad about, like, going down the conventional warfare to get, and then go back to refined warfare, but okay. Oh, exercise is spelled with a Z, huh? Well, you know what I like in my life? A little bit of conflict. Or struggle. The chef's erratic behavior has forced a confrontation. One way or another, we'll need to find some way to ensure stability in our relations. All right. This is exactly what I want early game. Or at least, you know, early enough. Um, you are leading mostly infantry, local leader, let's go local leader, and we're going to be throwing, we will be throwing on some recon guys on you eventually, so, maybe not yet, but eventually. I'm sorry, special forces, but you're going to become a troll, man. Patrol. We're going to need more guns, actually. We're going to definitely need more guns, too. And we're building up some more civvies. Very nice. I love the civvies. Cool. 74%. 
Yeah, I want to wait maybe um to get the other stuff. Uh, that's not bad. Ooh, st wow. Um, that's pretty good too. Yeah, that's pretty good. If that's the case, well, begin begin scavenging program. Yeah, do you'll do it. Lower that. Do that. We'll see where we're at, and if it's hot, and if we don't have enough yet, then we'll go with this one. More stability. Why not? And what are we going to do next? Ooh. Brotherhood exercises, Fort Hood development, Dallas development. Well, we gotta get this one done anyway, so doctrinal thoughts. Our high command must never stop adapting to the constantly shifting conditions of the waste if we were to maintain military readiness in the harshest of situations. Providing them further resources and reports would help them make capital advances in improving the established doctrines of our troops as well as special forces. Let me in. I'm ready to go. We have, we have a lot of radar stations around here. Nice. Not a lot of plane stations though. Plane stations? Air bases? Oh, the Carthaginians, the chef. Not a lot of manpower. Up to 13 divisions. Now they don't attack us. Which I'm totally okay with. Can we just win? Oh, they have, oh, they have more divisions than I thought they did. Okay. I mean, sure, guys, you want to come in? I'm, I'm okay with that. Oh, you guys actually go there. There you go. See, see how it works. Ah, it always feels so good having a little bit of conflict in it in your first episode for Old World Blues. Oh, look at that command power. Um, do we some upgrades for these guys? I think we do. I love that one, but Savage Leader. I'll give you that one too. Beautiful, yum yum. Well, we've lost 14 guys versus around 300, so that ain't too bad. Jasper? Isn't there a Jasper County or something? Hmm. And you know what? A little bit of conflict as we're still... Oh, well, I guess we're not mobilizing anymore. That's okay. Sony plays a warden sometime. You know what? We can do more war sport. Why not? Weekly war sport for 140 days? Yes, please. Oh, you're not winning over there, huh? Huh, Sonny? Ah, this is yummy. Keep going, guys. Not too worried about it. Ah, yeah, we'll take some stuff. Yeah, thanks, guys. Four more divisions. Why not? Uh, if you guys were smart, you might go over there. Then again, they get to do that too, and then just cut them off real quickly. There you go. Yeah, maybe we'll keep on using them. Maybe they're not bad. Of Gators and Maws. Desperados no more. Uh, let's do Dallas Development. No, I'm doing Brotherhood Guns. Our complacency and over-reliance on existing technology could very well be our downfall in our fight to bring order to the waste. If we're to make sure our forces are properly equipped for the battles ahead, we must do all we can to spur small arms innovation, let it be civilian competition, fund research funds, or even soldier-led design initiatives. Goodbye. Oh, I wanted to see how, many, how much we won by. But, you know what, that's okay. Now, I'm not sure if later on, do we get free cores on Texas? That'd be really, really cool. But I really don't know, so. And we're gonna go with some pacification. Light patrols, exactly what we want. Actually, which one's better? Hmm. So, if you have eight battalions, it gives you 24 suppression. So, each one gives you about three. Yeah, three suppression. While for rioters, each one gives you about two. So, then what's the point of rioters, then? If it's because they have armor. Um, see, manpower needed per suppression, 8.3 per division, 800. Manpower per suppression, 12.5, but manpower needed per division. The production cost for light patrols is so much better. Maybe we'll just use them. Maybe we'll just use those guys instead. Conventional warfare, good. Well, that's going to take a long time for us to get down here, but that's a okay. So, Desperados, Gator Maws, ooh. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll just do that. Let them attack our power armor. You guys just kind of hang out here. Just train for now. 83% stability. That's quite a bit. Not bad. Not bad at all. And yeah, I think we'll go to war with them next. Oh, they canceled. What? They canceled Lend Lease. What? We only had a surplus. Oh, well. And actually. Um, yeah, we don't need their militia. I would love to do more of these guys, but. We don't have the army XP for right now, but that's okay. So after this one, we're going to go to War of the Desperados. Yeah. 
Those bandits who are east have been a complete source of trouble. A short military expedition will wipe up their leaders and put their citizens under our protection. Aw, yeah, fighters. That's a little bit ahead of time already. Well, let's grab some of this then. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Can I see any volunteers? Here, you gave me some guns. You can have three of these. Uh, I don't think we have 20. We have three. And I'll give you what? 500. And one. And you can have... I still need to keep a few of these, so you can have 300 of that. Um... There you go. You help me, we'll help you the breaking point. Our constant efforts to help and support Lone Star in exchange. For economic support seems to have drawn the ire of a large splinter group inside the Brotherhood, calling themselves the Alamo Chapter and having taken residence inside the historical site of the Alamo, which I've been to. It's a pretty small place, at least the last time I went there. They're composed of many high-ranking officers who think we've de deviated f too far from our original goal. They seek to return to our tradition and contact the other Brotherhoods to once again organize as a proper chapter. This is a devastating blow for our nation. All we can do is hope for the best. Torn leadership? Oh, no. They are right. The brother shall rise once again. I'd like to do that, but... Country changes to Alamo. We'll play as Alamo chapter again sometime. We, all we can do is hope for the best. Oh, no. Oh, Catherine Turney. Wow. Looks pretty good. I can counter intel, corruption, and corruption reconnaissance. Mistress of subterfuge. Not bad. Brotherhood guns. Very cool. Rusk for Texas. And what are we going to do next? That's broad as no more, right? Those bandits to have been a constant source of trouble. A short military expedition will wipe the, out their leaders and put their put their citizens under our protection. Not bad. We're about to get paid soon, too. I love it. Oh, aid. Oh, there it goes. Aid Lone Star. Yes. We lose mobilization speed, manpower. Cool. Aid. Uh, we can aid them, I guess, too. Why not? Clamp down on autonomy. Now nah, we're good right now. Do we have any more upgrades for these guys, actually? Yeah, we might. No, they don't have any more trade slots. That's okay. Anything else here that we should really be aware of? Capture. Okay, goodbye, Warren. Man, they always die now. I think we'll go with City McDonald. I mean, that'd be good for just getting more daily army XP games. So we don't have to focus on that again. Hopefully, Lone Star succeeds. That would be really bad if they don't. Um, see, mission one system. But, oh, Richmond, the power keg of Texas? The so called Alamo chapter has come to us with an offer they wish to parlay by the strategic location of Richmond. Apparently, it's such a valuable territory they wish to claim it for themselves. They're ready to pay quite a hefty sum in exchange, but it's almost implied that barring an agreement, they'll take it by force. How should we respond? Accept their offer. Blood amongst brethren must be prevented. Richmond. Isn't this Richmond? Um. Fortify Richmond, we won't surrender to traitors. I, I don't know which was historical. I think this was historical. If they want it, they can have it. Which might give us. Which. You know, whatever. I don't care. I really don't care at this point. You can have it. There you go. You're going to need against Santa Ana, which you're probably going to lose it anyways. Well, bad words. Bad words, son. I thought I put this on historical. I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe that is historical, though. Go and do that, too, if you want. And simulator training. You might as well do all of them. I don't care. Well... We're low now. Did that lock us out of our focus tree? Hand war bands completed the re rekindled economic union. Well, I guess we're not going down this way. We've been betrayed. Our future? Fo Fortress Brotherhood. Um. Old world. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that. Hmm. Uh, I don't think this is supposed to happen, right? So... Um... Hmm. Well, that's not very good. Do we not get any sort of option about this? Because if they go down with victory for the greater good, which one? Oh, rekindle the economic union. They need that one. An economic powerhouse alone. Yeah, that's not really good for us, now is it? Holy crap! Um, I might have to manage just, just a little bit off screen. And here we are, my friends, January 11th, 2276. And now, well, Lone Star is back here because let's just say I made sure that they win, even though I know for a fact that this is historical, so this is very, very weird. But I've also gone ahead and done Dallas developments. 
The ruins of Dallas have proven a very effective fundament for civilian life to flourish under brotherhood governance. Let us further this with subtle involvements. The best economy is a guided economy, and the maple do of gators and maws. The gator maws raids have gone far enough. The constant assaults on river traders have caused too many lives to ignore, hopefully. Their destruction will provoke some return to normalcy for our merchants. And as you can see, I've already gone to war with the Desperados, and we've lost quite a few guys, 75 dudes versus 300, not bad. But I figured, you know what, spread ourselves out, get our soldiers ready to go, cut them off, cut off Carthage, and circle, destroy, call it a day. Right? And the, we shall. Uh, let's see, we're still getting some more war propaganda. Hmm. Some stuff. Also, off screen, I made sure that we did do some scavenging, and we got a general atomics, even though we're not using robots. Nope, I don't need you guys to come in. I instead went with Ledrock Walker already for more compliance gain, less damage to garrisons, less resistance target, which is incredibly strong. Holy crud. And we also have Sydney McDonald, but we don't have the other one that I think I chose last time yet. Yeah, we don't have Paladin McDirt yet, so it is what it is. But let's move on over and have a good old time, shall we? Yes, we shall. Cool. And help support the attack, thank you. And help support the attack, thank you very much. This power armor is not great. It's really not that great, but it, it works for now. It sort of just works. Oh, there goes a little sprinkle. And if you guys can move in, that'd be great, great, great arenas. No, you, you can't stop. You gotta force the attack. And we'll grab some basic tools. Nice. Go to Carthage. We need you to go to Carthage immediately. And circle and destroy. And once they're surrounded, we're going to go flooding straight on in. At least hopefully. That's a goal. Of Gators and Mall. Very nice. And now we can actually do two nations, one system. By tightly integrating the economy of ourselves and the other members of the Texan Economic Union, we'll be able to reap significant economic benefits. Long may this last. Yes, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Battle plans are nice. Let's grab some field fortifications. Oh, come on, man. Seriously? Just kill them. Oh, the stupid armor. We can beat up the infantry so much faster than anything else. There we go. There we go. Now that's nice. Get a shriek. Oh, come on, man. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Oh, are they doing last stand? Oh, no, they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. All right, that's fine. Come on, guys, break over, break over. You're slowly breaking over. Kill every single one. Actually, they might still be doing last stand. It looks like they might be, but maybe not. Oh, come on. Did we... How did they get back in here? Go north, go north, go north. Please, 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 for the love of God, come on. You guys got this? 99, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, we broke over. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. Hold your position, and now please just exterminate with extreme prejudice. Yeah, look at that, we got some more political power too. Uh, vehicles, we could do that. Ooh, stability's not bad, we could do that again, why not? Uh, come on over this way, guys. You don't need to go up that way. That's a bit weird. Ah, two nations, one system. And which we'll do, announce fiscal reforms, joint production, arms production, joint... Uh, develop joint arms production. By augmenting Lone Star's might with Texan Brotherhood's military expertise, we could significantly increase our military output. Nice. Ash report is ours. Thank you. Now I'll butcher them. So we've lost. Actually, that's not that many guys. Versus 3,000, that's a pretty good stat, we'll say. Tex Arcana? Is that. This is supposed to be Arkansas, isn't it? Maybe? No. Texas? No. No. Wait. Does Texas. Border Arkansas? I thought they did. Um, this is all Louisiana. I thought that was Louisiana too. Music right here. I don't remember, man. My geography obviously is failing me right now. But obviously we're gonna need these guys here too. So you guys come down here because there's a little waterway or a little hole. I'll put all y'all right here first. Give me seven guys. Maybe that might be enough just to hold to hold. Perhaps we got plenty of infantry equipment, heavy patrols. Oh yeah, you're definitely not thick enough. No wonder we couldn't win. You're not thick enough. And if there's one thing I like about our soldiers is that they gotta be thick. Because if they ain't thick, I'm not having a good time, man. 
We're just straight up not having a good time. Simulator training? Sure, why not? Go right ahead. 187 caps. Ain't too shabby. Aid Unity Valson. Um. Oh, they're still in the war against. Oh, do they have any Focus Street Crusher's Army? Incorporating slavers? I've said this before. Well, so I'm not going to say it again. But slaves are cool. Hmm. Uh, Sebastian Drill. And we also have the uh, Alamo Chapter still here. Uh, 81%. That's not bad. If we get into another war, then maybe we can raise a conscription level. Not conscription level. About, uh, about, but our other stuff. Stability. I can't think of the word. My apologies. Holy crud. My mind is gone. Oof. Air superiority. Emily Strong. Okay. Well, Max Factors in the States. Not bad. Doesn't really help us right now, though. Decorated Hero. Research Speed. Uh, this stuff is all okay. Nothing unique there. Oh, look at this. Nightly Armaments. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely gotta go for that one. Follow it up with... Clear working. Cool. Alright, looks like our boys are ready to go. They are 20 combat with, so... Oh, Sobic the Powerful. Sobic Mama. Oh, look at here. Oh. Alright, so they're attacking us here. We might need to send this guy over. Are they attacking you down here? Oh, hello. Okay. Sure, we'll take some more stuff. Why not? Why not? If we take Alexandria, is that all we need? That might just literally be all we need. Resistors are nice. Very cool. <clears throat> I'd love to go down and protect her Texas, but... Hmm. Desperado for Law. Chain in the Jungle. Rumble of the Rollerbladers. Kind of want to do that one, but I want to keep going down this way, too. Enlarge the Mission of Lone Star. Rapid Training Programs. Advanced Training Programs. Rangers for Low Star. Well... Oh, let's announce fiscal reforms. While well, if the Texan Economic Union is strong, it's certainly not infallible. Reforming our finances will help shore us up. Cool. We're like a strong union down here. Hope we're doing okay with Mr. Charles Baggins. Biggins, not Baggins. Not like Bilbo Baggins. No, no, no. That'd be kind of cool, though. That'd actually be pretty cool. Alright, and do we have air power? Did I make an air base here? I might not have yet. J Jasper? Jasper, Texas. Ah, uh, we're still gonna win it. Oh, they have threw another division in there. That's why we're struggling a little bit. That's alright. Let us struggle, maybe. Struggling is not bad. We could invite them, but nah, I don't feel like it. Um, sure. All y'all come over there. Oh, We're gonna need another division. Another general. Oh, and Gary Scourge. Oh, we got that from the Unity of Austin, so. Anything here that we really care about? Not really. Sure. We'll throw in a few guys here. If that's a case... There you guys go. Good luck. You might just need it. You're gonna like the way you look. At Fort Worth, huh? Okay, cool. You guys, uh, train, 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 train. Oh, it's compliance here. Oh, resistance is... Oh, I actually forgot to do this one, didn't I? Yep, I did. My bad. Alright, they're still attacking. And we lost 20 versus 366, not bad. Seriously, can we just... Oh. Well, if we do that to that to that, can we just win, maybe? Give us a little bit more time for more, um... Let's go over this, too. Uh, get more organization with these guys so we can beat these militia divisions up, too. But I'm not gonna actually... Oh, boy. Alright, so that's the case. You guys come down here, then. Ah, they're starting to move their, their soldiers away, too, so... Good to know. Just hold for now, then. Hold for now. Nope, we're good. We've got it under control for now. Announce fiscal reforms. Mint the Texan dollar. Restore the... Oh, oh, I got that one. Restore the University of Texas. Once a great institution of learning and research, the old campus of the University of Texas lies in ruins. With some love, we can begin to restore academic research to the location, granting us all benefits. This station is too easy to play as. Wow, you're getting attacked by five different divisions. Better get them boys in there real quick, Lack. And again, we just call on some planes, too. That helps out. Never been University University of Texas, but then again, there's a lot of universities of Texas. Just give them a few more seconds and we'll all head on out. Three, two, go. Actually, if you go right there, that'd be really, really good. Double up up top if you can. 
So we can cut all these guys off. So a little more bloody than I would have liked, but whatever. But we're getting paid soon too, which is great. Ah, see, now this is when we want to do this stuff too. Get even more stability now while we're at war. So we can reap the benefits of it very soon. Or soon enough, really. Oh, these guys have been cut off. That's what we wanted. Even though we could get cut off ourselves, which should not be very good. There you go. Keep them in place for now. That's good. Yeah, we're losing a lot of guys probably actually doing the 60. Ah, 63 so far. 80, 90. That's so bad. Yeah, these guys are actually really just waiting to die the entire time. Holy crud. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's so nice. 1,000 versus 114. Yeah, no wonder Prava's played this, like, first. It's too easy <laughs> so far. That's going to be difficult against Santa Ana, which we need to get anti-tank, but... Five research slots? Yeah, we need more manpower, too, but still. Like, we get Lone Star with us. We get the Unity of Austin. Ah. Then again, I'm probably going to regret saying that later on down the line. So, I'm probably right about that. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, do we have that modifier? Let's see. Economic Advisors, Balance, Texas Rangers, Victorious Heroes, Heritage... Torn leadership, which actually really sucks, but whatever. Uh, Alamo payment still for now. Okay, that's not bad. And we do have broken apart down here. Patrol one another. Brother consolidation. Okay, wait, I actually get cores on that stuff. I should realize that. This brother for law. With the wild one brought to her heel, our focus is now on fully integrating his former territory. A fifth research slot. Okay, why not? Get trap land attackers. Why not? We lost, lost to 200, we killed off 2,000. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And we should have air superiority raging. Yep, raging hard over here. I love it. Um, What else do we have around here? Want not, waste not. That's not bad. Eh, I can wait. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go outside our auxiliaries. Well, more non core manpower. And I want um more compliance game. Oh, that's just pretty much it. Yeah, 29% is not good enough. And, as someone's going to say, don't forget about the doggos. Which, hopefully, I won't. But, I probably will. And, even though it's not looking good right now. And, we're still getting some more XP. So, let's see. He's becoming a jungle rat. Jungle rat. No, learning nothing. Alright, whatever. Resistors, nice. Brother exercises. Evaluate the Codex. Rusk for Texas. Um, focus on new research. That's not bad. We can always use that. Part of the job of the economic union is pushing the boundaries of what we believe economically possible. The best way to do that is to develop new technologies. Good idea. Now, I'm worried just a little bit about manpower, of course. So, we do have to keep an eye on that. But let's get some goggles first. There we go. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, but hey, oh well. It is what it is. Lafayette. Very nice. Go ahead and train you guys. Well, most of you actually don't. Manpower, not too bad. Oh, canceled on these. All right. That's fine. It's nice to have allies. It's really good to have allies. Sometimes. Unless it's like base game where you have just way too many allies and you're like, guys, get out of here. You're causing me too many supply issues. Then that's really not a lot of fun. That is straight up just not a lot of fun. Of course, we do have to prepare for the Lanius' Legion, which is going to suck. But anyway, it shouldn't be too bad, right? Even though Lanius can be pretty strong, which I still need to play as Lanius. Oh my goodness. I'll uh, do public projects, why not? 90% stability, not bad. Now I feel pretty good about probably grabbing Paladin McDirt. Weird last name, but that's okay. And then Tame in the Jungle. With the Gators' Maws defeated, we can set to work calming the jungle home. Or cl calming their jungle home. The people there will no doubt welcome our protection, although some of the beasts. <sighs> May not. Trooper Warfare, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And anything else? That's not bad. We actually might do this one. We got enough gas. We'll do it. Why not? Weekly. I forget how much manpower he gets. Like 500 some manpower, which is not a lot, but eventually we're going to have enough caps that it won't even matter. And after taming the jungle, well, we're going to have to patrol one to another. One patrol to another. The patrolmen have been critical of unofficial allies in our fight against the Raider tribes. A more formal agreement, however, might be more beneficial. Very, might as well could be. And we're just minus one water. Not bad so far. And what type of level are we on? We're opening traders. That makes sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's go and grab the, the hero. That war, that stability can help us out in everything we do. Including getting more compliance. Which is super important. Oh, we no longer get those payments from the Alamo chapter. That sucks. Uh, we do have one destroyer, though. Led by uh, Lewis Robertson. So, 
Look at all that naval XP. We got a lot of army XP too. My goodness. My goodness. Anyone else need upgrades? Training? No. Cool. You guys are doing okay. And what are we lacking? Oh, we need guns. Oh. Well, okay. Taming the jungle is nice. One patrol to another. And oh, we need this too. Do we not have a dockyard? Oh, we lost the only dockyard we had. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Then. Brotherhood consolidation. Newfound gains are only good if we shore them up. By spending time to plan our administration of those territories, we agree their place as core elements of our nation, which we get consolidated conquests, even less damage to garrisons, and even more daily compliance gain. Like, my goodness. Why? <laughs> I guess a brotherhood is supposed to technically win, so I, I guess. That's what it seems like, because this is, this is pretty darn strong for us. At least for me, in my opinion. But again, who am I? I'm just a person on the internet just playing a game and playing a mod playing a mod of a game. A really good mod, a tremendously good mod, but hey, maybe that's just me. Uh, let's go about some of that too. Thank you very much. Um, yep, that, that won't be too bad. We'll do that, we'll get some more of this stuff. Uh, it did suck that we had we gave stuff to these guys, but whatever. Let's make it let's build a dockyard. Just because I don't want to see this happen. Like if we're gonna have a destroyer, we gotta make sure it does okay. I'll go to that too. That's fine. Clamp down autonomy. I don't really care about that. Drastic measures. Don't care about that. And coded signals. Don't care about that too much. Uh, grab some plant cultivation. Doesn't help us that much, but hey, approaching the patrolmen. The lawmen to East call themselves the patrolmen. Have for a long time appeared at first as simple law keepers just like us, but with time and a closer study, we found there's a profound, deep rot inside the ranks. Fleeing civilians tell tales of looting and appropriation. Stories of them demanding unreasonable payments for the protection. It goes on and on. We can't let such freeloaders get away with us. We, if they want keep the true rule of law, we, then we will send the term of their surrender, but keep the, the coach guns handy. One more jurisdiction. The patrolmen have seen the wisdom in our words, and have decided to step down as protectors of the territory. Now that we have control of their lands, we can properly police them, and thus fulfill the job they never did. Under our guidance, they will grow to become a region of safety and stability. Another job well done. Alright, so you're under us. I'm, oh, you're with us. Uh, I wish... Oh. Okay. Okay. Brotherhood Consolidation. Very, very nice. Um, I mean, we're already down here. You know, would it hurt just a little bit? To... 300 days. Holy crud. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. Oh, wait. No, you guys are the two bad gang. Yeah, I want to do these guys. Two bads are good people. Real, just good citizens. We'll put it like that. Just the swellest guys you could ever know. Oh, that's where Paris, Texas is. Cool. Brother gets all... Oh, that's 40 days. Oh, man. Oh, we get deputy, deputy training. Which one's deputy training? Oh, I'm not really sure. Let's see. The long road... Huh. Requires broken apart. More army XP. The hard road. Do we like it ha long, hard, or the Alamo's right? Becomes... Wait, the Texan Brotherhood... Wait, what? We become a puppet of them. Whoa. Combat our deficient deficits. Um, that's not bad. Actually, I like that one. All systems ready. Well, we get deputy training in uh, hmm, factories in Dallas. Full hood foliages. Alright, well that's cool. Deputy training, which we'll look at in just a little bit. Rumble with those guys. Um Ooh, sixty days. Wow, that kinda sucks. The long road our army may be in disarray, but there's a calm solution to every problem. An extensive training campaign will take time, however, anything rash act, rash or actions could be placed in a serious peril. Nonsense! Our officer corps suffered greatly from the Alamo chapter split. Meaning we'll need to undertake major efforts to revitalize our army. The shortest path to doing so also requires the largest investment and therefore the largest risk. Oh well. And then Santa Ana attacks immediately. Oh, that'd be so bad. What? Consolidated conquest. That is so strong. That is ridiculously strong. I love it, don't get me wrong, but still. So, that's a core. That's a core. Look at that map we got now. Obviously, this, this is Louisiana. Louisiana it ain't cored. And we'll core it eventually, but it's going to take some time. Oh, happy 2077, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Metal working. Uh, let's go and grab some... Uh, oh, we can't do that yet. Okay. Metal working, eh? I'll grab some more of that. That's pretty good stuff. Hello. Who are you? Ah, the iron mongers. Oh. Well, after we do the hard road, we're probably going to do the rumble of the rollerbladers. 
Those psychos in Assassin City have been causing trouble with the patrols as of late. It might be time to restore some order to that decrepit city. I hope so. Hope I can beat them up. Because we like beating them up. Nice. Got some of that too. We're going to need more production capabilities. Oh, we must have built the uh, other stuff. We'll like it nice and hard. With? Yep, rumble with the rollerbladers. That'd be kind of nice. Go and do that. If we have to help them out, that's fine. Just... Actually, can I make any more? Yes, we can. Oh, actually, I want to make these guys 20 combo with, if possible. Ah, we need more army XP. Ah! I'm not sure where that came from. Oh, I forgot. I'm so not used to this anymore. Like, we only have so much money we can we need, we need can work with. Ah! Why do you pay me so? Yeah, we're going to need more... Uh, oh, wait. I forgot to do this, too. Ah! It's been so long since I've actually done a proper Oral Blues campaign. Oh, we don't have a trade node. No one, no wonder we're not doing well. We need their trade node. Oh, we need. That's why we're going to go to War of the Cannery. We should go to War of Houston too. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, we already have McDirt. Oh, voluntary. Limited deputization. Just five work those times. A reinforcement goes way down to the training time. On us goes. Stay the same. Okay. Texan and Paladins would be really... Oh, that's actually not too bad. I like that. Way better just five war goals times. Holy cow. Outside of Battalions wouldn't be too bad. Is anything a hot-blooded commander? No. Uh, a most peculiar event. It seems that while our high command was very busy planning the invasion and subsequent pacification of the Roller Girls and the territory... Oh, Roller Girls! Mr. Entertainment is quite simply walked up to the capital and talked to them. At first, we were alarmed at such a development, but now he has come back with news that all the Roller Girls want in exchange for putting a stop to the raiding is access to the Dallas Stadium. Apparently, it's for their <coughs> matches of some sort. Ha! Ah, command is understandably disappointed. Um, it was. Yeah, I'm. I'll be honest. I'm a little disappointed. I wanted. I want to rumble. I want to rumble with some with some roller girls. What the heck? I feel cheated. I'll be honest. I feel completely cheated now. <sighs> Experience gain. Well, well, actually, if if, if Alamo Chapter doesn't exist, we might be able to get her back. So maybe we'll save time for her. El superiority. That's just a better one to get. And no nope, absolutes allowed. You know, I recover eight. Eh, this one's just better overall. I'm tempted to get this one. Living in a deputization. Worse reinforce rate. You get more manpower. Yeah, that would ultimately probably be a good thing to do. Too bad I'm going to go for outsider battalions first. And I'll do one more focus before we end the episode then. Share technological developments? That's probably a good idea. A Texan Economic Union can gain new heights of power bits to share technology amongst its members equally. But, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As we explore what the Texan brother has in store for us, we'll probably be able to buy you motors, and we might have to deal with a couple of super mutants. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.